expectations. So going into this race, I kind of had more of an ambitious goal, but I'm still very happy with where it came out. Um, and also my coach really treats it as like a target, like a bullseye. And even if it's not right on the target, it's still a great race. So I'm happy with the time that I got today, but obviously not as much of a, there's still like things I can work on and more to chase. How much more aggressive was your ultimate goal than today? I was initially going for an 1830, but I'm still very happy with what I did. And what was the strategy then, especially because this is such a hilly course? Right. So I always try to like chunk up my races. I've been saying this in the past too, but the first two miles I treat it as like its own race. And then after the bowl and going on from there, it's kind of its own, like I can just trust my training and my strength and just trust my legs to just take me from there. So This course is challenging. Is it harder physically or mentally to complete this course? I think a bit of both because obviously it is going to be challenging and it's more aggressive because you're going to be working up those hills and on those downhills. But if you treat it like it's something fun and treat it like it's like a, experience rather than something you have to like endure it's a lot more fun and it definitely helps you going into the race i love that you said that it should be fun and a positive experience why <laughs> yeah. did you start running i started running because it was kind of like a mistake because i was initially a swimmer when i was younger and then whenever we did dry land practices like i would enjoy the running portion of it so i was like why not just try cross country and i ended up really liking it so what was your favorite part about today's meet or the course or any of the experiences you've had today? I think the fact that I didn't get much of a season last year, I only got the championship season because I was injured for most of it. But having this experience and being able to race early on from the season is definitely very a good thing for me and I'm very happy about that. Having such a great performance today and coming out of your injury last season, um, what are some thoughts on how you were able to grow after then recovering and taking the time to heal as to where you are now? Yeah, so I think having the injury was definitely a big experience for me because it really helped me establish a better bond with my like running and just like my teammates and my coaches. So obviously I have a better approach coming into this season because I've grown as an athlete both like mentally and physically. So I've just been like enjoying the sport more. I have a little more knowledge on the sport. So I think that's where I improved the most. Because our audience is a lot of uh, middle school and youth runners, um, what kind of tips can you give to somebody who might be going through an injury and feeling kind of down about it, especially now having such a great experience today and a great performance? What could you uh, relate to them? I think um, when you're really in it, it seems like the end of the world, but when you're looking back on it in retrospect, it's really not that big of a deal. Especially if you're a middle schooler, it should only be fun and you should just use this time to like develop a good bond with your teammates and with your coaches and with the sport itself. So don't stress too much and just kind of like feel it out and you're going to get back from it and you're going to have a good running career. I'm interested to see if you have any pre-race jitters or nervousness at the starting line and how do you cope through that? Yeah, so actually, interestingly, this race, I felt a little too calm. I was like actually telling my coach like am I like too chill before this race but sometimes just like when you have the training under your belt and you know that you can just trust your training it's better to just be calm and know that all the hard work is already done so so what do you have it uh going forward what do you have planned for the remaining of the se season do you have any big goals you're setting for yourself yeah so obviously I want to improve my standing a little bit in the state and um get back to meet of champs and I also really appreciate that New Jersey is getting faster and faster every year so the competition is always great and having that experience Experience with this comp competition is really really nice so my goals are definitely up there like I want to place in the meet of champs and I want to kind of be more intentional with my races at those bigger levels but yeah well thank you so much I appreciate